stuff you don't want, you can leave them on the table. Okay, perfect. And there's a recycling thing on the corner. Please make sure you put your box, uh, your empty box in it. Usually we really like for people to choose. Our food bank is set up in a way that people have a choice at each station. Unfortunately, because we can't have a lot of people coming through the building, we've had to just switch to pre-made boxes. With the complete shutdown of non-essential services and many being asked to stay home, food banks are busier than ever. Quebec is expecting to serve 800,000 people in the coming days, some who may have never used the help of a food bank before. The demand is high and community organizations need your help. Faut pas être gêné d'aller dans une banque alimentaire. C'est pas votre faute si vous avez perdu votre emploi. The premier telling Quebecers not to be ashamed if they need to go to a food bank to feed their families. And for Moisson Montréal, Canada's largest food bank, providing 15 million kilos of food for those fighting hunger and poverty every year. It's been a puzzle now that 30% of community agencies have closed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The executive director says his main concern is to assure people that their services continue to operate. So... This is where we are. We, we are at doing the necessary step to make sure that the food is sent to the agencies that are still open, taking the necessary steps so that the food is provided in sufficient quantities. On Thursday, Premier François Legault called on anyone 70 years old and over who is healthy and currently not working to step up and take time to volunteer at food banks. To head online to jebenevol.ca to sign up and on Friday, he thanked Quebecers for their generosity, saying more than 12,000 heeded his call to volunteer and they have been matched with organizations who need their help. D'abord, un immense euh, merci euh, à ceux qui sont inscrits hier pour faire euh, du bénévolat. Euh, les Québécois sont tellement généreux. À Share the Warmth in Point Saint Charles in Montreal Southwest, they've seen a 25% increase in demand. That's one new member out of four coming for a basket of food for the very first time. To avoid the spread of the coronavirus, they aren't looking for more volunteers, but say demand will increase and are looking for monetary donations online. We're definitely going to go through the backup that we have a lot quicker and um, donations that come in are going to allow us to buy the things that we need, buy more fresh produce, milk and eggs and the things that people are really looking for. It's still too early to predict how many more families will need help, but all organizations agree they'll need more financial help. We're already trying to identify the financial means that will be required for that because as you may suspect, if we need to gather, I don't know, Two million, three million, five million kilograms more. Well, we'll need the, the financial resources to do it. In Montreal, Melina Jubilaro, City News.